Hi guys, it's Amber Cranston, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel and to my part two of uh, my Sensi haul. I split it up because I had quite a few warmers and I figured you guys didn't want to see a super, super long video. Um, so I am going over the full sized warmers this time. So I have three to share with you guys. So let's jump into it. So the first one I have is the Birds of a Feather Warmer, which is this month's uh, Warmer of the Month. Yeah, it's this month's Warmer of the Month, along with Pink Sugarberry Mint as the um, Scent of the Month. So it's, it's easy to lose tracks. <laughs> but it is this month. So this is an element warmer, but there is an LED light in it. An element warmer means that you don't have to have a light bulb to warm up the wax. There's a hot plate instead. So this one uses a little hot plate, um, but as I'll show you, the bird lights up. So this comes with a um, Scentsy dish. And it's recommended four cubes. I personally don't use more than two cubes um, per warmer, but that's the number tells you what the recommended amount of wax is. Just remember the more cubes you use, the likelihood of having a waxident is. So just be careful. But like I said, two is usually the maximum of what I use in my warmer. I don't normally get better performance with a whole um, thing of wax, you know? So two is my maximum most of the time. So here is the cute little birds of a feather. So it is a, um, a matte ceramic. There's no glaze on this, so just be careful when you are changing your wax because it can stain the um, the warmer. Um, but of course the inside of the dish is glazed so it, will, it won't do any sort of staining in that way. So there is the hot plate right there and it was, sorry I forgot to look, what is the wattage? It's an eight watt warmer. So it, um, a watt does pretty well. It's not the super strongest. I think 12 is their strongest, um, but eight's good. Um, okay, so I'm plugging it in. And then of course you put the dish right here over the hot plate. And then, like I said, there is a light. Let me turn it on. And then the bird lights up. So cute. So you do get a little bit of light on this side, but it's not as bright. And the warmer is kind of made, because the, the cord's right here, which usually means the warmer's made to go like this. I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't do it like this. I do it more like at an angle. So at least you can see the bird's face and a little bit of the dish. But of course you can do it however you want, obviously. There's no rule or anything. But look at the detail. They're so sweet. Perfect for those that love little birdies. So there's that. So that is the birds of a feather warmer. Put it down real quick. And then the next one I have is also an element warmer and it is the letterboard warmer. So this one has no light at all, so I'm not gonna plug it in or anything, but I will show you. So it is very cute. This was a warmer of the month last year. I think for August. I don't know, I don't know, but it came back to the regular catalog because it was super popular. So this comes with all the letters and symbols and everything else that you may want. And then 
So it's an element warmer, which means there's no dish to take out. It's a hot plate underneath that. And then, so you put the little letters. You can make create whatever saying you want on it. And then how you know it is on. Let me take it out. I'll show you. There is an indicator light back here. And when you flip it on, that light will come on. And that's how you know it's on. And of course the wax will start to melt is another way you can tell that it's on but that is super cute so that is the letterboard warmer and did i say what the wattage was i can't even remember now i think i did but i'll tell you again just in case eight watts also so that is the letterboard warmer okay next Last but not least, I've actually never seen this warmer in person either. I think it's actually been around for a few seasons though, but I've never seen it. It is the stone leaf warmer. So this one uses a bulb and it is a 25 watt bulb. And let me get it out and show you. Okay, so here is the dish, and it is four recommended cubes. So it's a very nice, pretty deep dish. And so this is a ceramic warmer. Oh, very nice. Just a minute, and I will show you. Ooh, okay. It's just all these warmers are for customers, so I wanna make sure I'm very careful with everything. Okay, so this has like a rough texture to it. So this is a very rustic looking warmer. If you can see the texture. That's very nice. Okay, let me plug it in. I don't think this one gives off a lot of light besides the little holes. I think it's an opaque warmer because um, it seems like a pretty thick ceramic but we will see. So 25 watt bulb. And let me screw it in. Okay, there we go. Oh, and then I forgot to mention the bowl is um, smooth. It's not rough like the outside, obviously. So it is smooth, but it is speckled like the rest of the dish. Okay, let me plug it in and show ya. Oh yes, yeah, so this is one that is opaque except for the light coming out of the holes. So that is very nice. It, Like I said, it's a very pretty, um, rustic almost, I could see it like, um, if you have that Tuscan kind of um, decor in your home, I could see it there as well. It's something like that. So very, very nice warmer and very neutral. I like that it's neutral colors, so it would go with a lot of different things. So anyway, there you go, you guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, all these warmers are still available. Last time I checked, the Birds of the Feather warmer, which is the warmer of the month, was still available. Um, so if you're interested in that one or any of the other products that I've showcased, um, my website is down in the description for you. If you do not have a consultant or go to your own consultant's website and check the, these things out, Thanks for spending some time with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.